Hey everyone, Jonathan here. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for stopping by our Invitation Station Facebook group. We're so excited to have you. I just wanted to run a really quick tip by you. Um, you'll notice if you've printed your invitations without making the changes that I'm going to walk you through that your invitations are maybe a little blurry. Um, there is a really quick way to fix that. And I'm going to walk you through that. Now, I do want to give you this um, disclosure. Um, where I'm going to take you in your computer, if you don't do these steps um, accurately, you can mess up some system settings. So don't let that scare you. If you uh, follow these steps um, properly, then you won't have any problems. So the first thing you're going to do now, I'm on Windows 8, which is a completely different operating system and feel from Windows XP and Windows 7. Um, if you're on Windows XP or Windows 7, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to start. So hit your start button at the bottom, and then you're going to want to um, go to run or type what I'm going to type in in the in the text field just above the start button. So anyway, in Windows 8, you kind of have to go a different route by going to search. But what you're going to do, whether you're using Windows 8, Windows XP, or Windows 7, is you're going to type in the word regedit. Okay? So when that comes up in Windows 8, we're going to click it. Um, XP or Windows 7, you just type it in and hit enter, and the regedit screen will come up. And this is what it looks like. Let me get this where you can see it. There we go. All right, so these are your system files. This is your registry. So here's the steps. You'll start out with these five folders. You're going to click on, now this is for PowerPoint 2007. You're going to click on H key current user. You're going to click on software. You're going to click on Microsoft. You can see I've already been here, so it's it's already expanded. You're going to click on Office. So let's scroll down here. There's Office, so that's already expanded. There we go. You're going to click on 12.0, which we've already done that. It's expanded. You're going to click on PowerPoint. Let me just move this over so you can see it. So you click on PowerPoint there. Expand that. Then we're going to click on Options. Now, we're doing all of this because this is going to increase the resolution of your pictures, which is going to increase the clarity when you have these invitations printed. If you don't do this, I'll just go ahead and say they're going to be fuzzy and blurry. I don't know about you, but I want my Premier Business to be as professional as it can be, and so I want my invitations to be as clear as they can be. That's why we're doing this. So once you've gone through all those steps, and I'll post this step-by-step -step on the uh, Facebook group, so you can go back and follow this without watching this video. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you are going to click on the, let's see, Edit, and then New. And you're going to choose a D word value. So we're going to do that. Now you're going to give this a name. And you're going to name it Export Bitmap Resolution. Okay? That's what we're going to do. And we're going to double click it. It's going to open up. Here's where you're going to tell it how many pixels um, that you want your resolution to be in PowerPoint. I always do 300. It's going to come out like super clear on your invitations. Okay, and then that is going to be it. So you're going to click OK. Okay, now I know that seems like a lot of steps. Please don't be afraid of it. And once you do it, you never have to do it again. Um, the only time you would ever have to go through these steps is if you got a new computer or were trying to create another invitation on a different computer. Um, like I said, you don't have to do this, but you're going to see what I'm talking about um, when you print your invitations for the first time, and the clarity is just not 100%. So uh, go through these steps. Make this change. When you're finished, you'll just exit out 
and you're just going to see a huge difference in your invitations. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks.